Hey guys, today we are going to solve problems involving direct variation. So yesterday we looked at proportional and non-proportional relationships. A direct variation relationship is just another name for a proportional relationship. So we have that constant ratio like the proportional relationship does. And like I said, it's just another name for a proportional relationship. And the direct variation equation can be written in the form y equals kx since it's proportional. There's no b. And then remember k is the special type of slope where y divided by x can be used to find the slope. Rise over run and the slope formula still work too, but y over x is a lot simpler. So if we know it's a direct variation equation, we'll just do y over x to find k. So k, the special slope, equals y over x. Okay, so we will solve it using the equation and the y over x, but there's another way to solve it. Since it is a proportional relationship, we can just set it up with a proportion. We just have to make sure our labels match. So we'll set up proportions like that, and then we can cross multiply to solve. So let's look at number one. It says determine k and write the direct variation equation when y equals 18 and x equals three. So on this one, they just want to see, can we write an equation? So remember k is the special type of slope where y divided by x works. So to find k, I will just do y, which is 18, divided by x, which is three, and 18 divided by three is six. So k, the constant of variation, that constant ratio is six. And then remember our direct variation equations can be written in the form y equals kx, and I just found k, it was six. So our equation is y equals six x. All right, let's look at number two, same thing, determine k and write the direct variation equation when y equals 10 and x equals negative 50. So k is y divided by x. So k will be 10 over negative 50. And I can pull a 10 out of both of those, so that'll simplify to negative one over five. So that means that the direct or the constant of variation k is negative one over five. And then the equation for direct variation is y equals kx, which is y equals negative one fifths x for this one since k was negative one over five. Okay, let's look at number three, same thing. I need to determine k and write the equation. So k is y over x, so to find k, I will do 0 0.5 over 0 0.25. And I'm gonna use my calculator for that one. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.25 is two. So k is two, and now I can write the equation in y equals kx form. It'll just be y equals two x. All right, number four, it says the value of y varies directly with x. If y equals 75 when x equals 15, what is the value of x when y equals 100? So this right here is fancy language for telling us it's proportional or direct variation, varies directly. So since this is proportional direct variation, I know that y over x equals y over x. So I can set up a proportion for this one. When y is 75, x is 15. So that first ratio will be 75 over 15. And then it tells us what is the value of x when y is 100. So this next ratio, y is 100, and we don't know what x is, so I'm just gonna put x. Okay, now this is a proportion, and I can solve it using cross multiplication. So 75 times x is 75x and 15 times 100 is 1500. And then I just divide to determine x, and 1500 divided by 75 is 20. So the value of x is 20. Okay, same thing on number five, it varies directly with 
x if y equals 5 when x equals 3 what is the value of y when x equals 15 so we will set up a y over x equals y over x proportion so when y is 5 x is 3 and then it says what is y when x is 15 so this time i'm going to leave y since that's what we're looking for and put it over 15. we're looking for when for y when x is 15. Okay, now I cross multiply, 5 times 15 is 75, and 3 times y is 3y, and I just divide to find 3, and 75 divided by 3 is 25. All right, number six, the, y, the value of y varies directly with x. If y equals 15 when x equals 0 0.5, what is the value of x when y equals 120? So same thing, it says direct variation, so I can set up the proportion y over x equals y over x. They tell me that y is 15 when x is 0 0.5. So that will look like 15 over 0 0.5 equals 120 over x and now I cross multiply 0.5 times 120 is 60 and 15 times x is 15x and now I just divide by 15 to find x and 60 divided by 15 is 4 Okay, all right, now we are getting into some real world situations. We are still gonna solve these using a proportion. We just have to decide where to place the numbers in the proportion and make sure that we keep it consistent. So let's look at number seven. It says the gallons of water a dishwasher uses varies directly to the number of loads of dishes. If the dishwasher uses 36 gallons of water for 12 loads of dishes, how many gallons will it use for 10 loads of dishes? So since it tells me varies directly, that's how I know I can use a proportion to solve it. So let's set up a proportion and let's make sure that we label so that we keep it consistent and our proportion is accurate. It says the dishwasher uses 36 gallons for 12 loads. So my first fraction will be 36 gallons for 12 loads. How many gallons? So we're going to have to determine that, find that, for 10 loads of dishes. So my next one, they give me the 10 loads, and I am looking for the number of gallons. So I'm going to put X gallons. Okay, now I just solve this how I have been. I cross multiply 10 times 36 is 360. And then 12 times X is 12 X. And I divide by 12. And 360 divided by 12 is 30. So that means it would be 30 gallons. All right, let's look at the next one. It says the number of bra bracelets Meredith can make varies directly with the amount of time spent making them. If she can make five bracelets in 2.5 hours, how many bracelets can she make in six hours? So it tells us varies directly. That's how I know I can set up a proportion. So let's go ahead and do that. She makes five bracelets in 2.5 hours. So five bracelets in... 2.5 hours. How many bracelets can she make in six hours? So bracelets is going to go on top like the last one, but I don't know the number of bracelets, so I'm going to put X. Can she make in six hours? So now I have bracelets on top for both of them and hours on the bottom for both of them. I know I set this up correctly. Okay, now let's cross multiply and solve. 5 times 6 is 30, and 2.5 times x is 2.5x. And then I'm going to divide by 2.5. And 30 divided by 2.5 is 12. 
So she can make 12 bracelets in six hours. Okay, number nine, the cost to stay at a hotel varies directly with a, the number of nights a customer will stay. If a customer pays $384 for four nights, how much will they pay for five nights? So $384 for four nights. We want to know how many dollars for five nights. Okay, now let's cross multiply 384 times five is 1920. And then four times X is four X, divide by four. And 1920 divided by four is 480. So it'd be $480 for five nights. Um, seven through nine, there are several different ways to solve it. I just chose to use a proportion. Um, you may have learned a different way to solve those. That's fine as long as, as, long as you're getting the same answer.